Okay, we got our main seal here. <clears throat> Yep, uh-huh. Damn it. Being a pain. I know. They just go right in. Kind of like that. Yeah. I know you got seal drivers for that thing. They're right here. There, yeah, seal drive in. Okay. I never made one for this. You don't need it. It goes like that. Okay. You gonna you can't use it anyway, huh? Can't use what? The seal driver. Why? Because you just it's easier to do it that way. That's how I do it. Just like my finger grinder, I don't make it unless I need it. <laughs> or you piss me off enough to make me do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hate to see you torture yourself. I like torturing myself. Pain. Pain's Weakness good. leaving your body. Pain's good. Okay, we got this thing here to put on. Mm-hmm. It's easy to screw since you put any torque on them. It's got stuff on it, so you don't have to seal it. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to seal it. We're only going to pretend we're going to seal it. Well, I sure wish they had those on those other later models. They don't have that. They just got a little chintzy seal in there. You know? That's the improved design. Yeah, the sign that leaks better. It shouldn't be. Well, the seal's not as beefy as that one, and that one's pretty chintzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, it's probably a wrong idea, but I did it on that orange one. I put the seal in not quite all the way. That way, that rubber contacts that smooth surface more on the sprocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever makes it work, if it works. But... I'm telling you, man, that seal is not near as <laughs> beefy as that one. I got one of my race bugs. It works fine. Yeah, but you only run it one mile. <laughs> yeah, but I run 150 mile an hour. That's sprocket spinning up some hours. I like what they say. Like, oh, they just have a little seepage. They don't really leak. It's just a little seepage. Yeah, mine don't leak at all. They don't own seepage, huh? Nope. There's a lot of RPM on it. By the time I got 18.2 sprocket back here and 8,500 RPM in the motor, it's spinning up. Mm -hmm. It's going so fast, the oil can't get out of there. It's That's just, it. It's slinging That's so fast. That's the secret. And now we can put the gasket that doesn't require any sealer on it. I guess they got me a fancy one of them, huh? They split. Use it as a paper, huh? Paper's better. I don't like these things. They just split, so we'll see how it works. And these early shafts, let's see, are they longer? Nope. Sure. Well, the uh, later models are, are different. These stick out a sixteenth more on the sprocket. Right. When did that guy say he's going to come tomorrow? Did he say? Or? About two. <clears throat> you like them cigarettes, huh? I don't know. Tastes like a real cigarette, huh? He quit smoking. He only quits at night. In the morning, he starts again. No, see, I quit buying cigarettes. <laughs> I used to do that, too. We'd, I smoke OP. Other people. <laughs> OP. Man, cigarettes. They sell them in stores by the singles, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I think I've seen them. Okay, they didn't split. Yep, good deal. That means it's good. <clears throat> I gotta turn the engine upside down and put that on, huh? Why? Pick the whole bike up and turn it up. You're making things up again. Where'd you find that? Did you find that pin you needed? Or what? Or you didn't? Probably you left it. Oh. 
That's why you put things in certain areas so you don't lose them. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, again. have a good one, Gino. Right, have a good one, man. Okay, there. See how it goes in there once it goes straight? Right, Mike. Okay, then we got this thing here. Mm. Where's it go? Beats me. It goes in the motor. In the engine. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. All right, so now you take one of these or one of these. I forget which one goes first. I'm going to put this one down here. Yeah. I don't think it really matters. There you go. <clears throat> Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. A little bit of oil in here doesn't do anything. Just makes it think like I'm doing something. I'll run oil all the way through that engine before I crank it up. You got your spring plate thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter how it goes. It goes in the hole. And you got this thing here. Mm-hmm. It has a seal on it. Just to line up with that hole right there, Drew. That's what that spring does, see? And where's that, where's that little slot going to line up to? Nothing? The dowel over there. Oh, okay. Okay, here's your little roll pin thing right here, little roller. <laughs> Tiny. There's that hole right there. And it feels like it. Yeah. See? A pair of tweezers almost. Huh? So you have to compress this too. And what is that grabbing? This thing. This thing. You got a round one and a square one. Uh -huh. The square one Beautiful. goes there. Yeah. Got that. Okay, then you got this side over here. And this has a square section O-ring in here. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure that's there. Mm -hmm. okay, this here, it's the same O-ring you use on the Evo mm -hmm. head gasket. The problem is all the aftermarket gaskets, e rungs now are made too thin because they've gone from 60 thou gaskets to 45, <clears throat> so they made these things thinner. It's the same part number. This goes in here. I don't know which side goes in first. It goes in upside down, as I recall. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Is so, that some kind of check? That's the check valve. So when you put this O-ring in here, you want to make sure this black O-ring is sticking up above the gasket surface or it will never seal. Yeah. So if you use those thin Evo ones, it won't seal. Uh -huh. You have to use one that actually uses Forster. Right. The problem is the same part number. Oh. Confusing, huh? Yeah. You have to go take a motor apart a couple times to stop the oil leak that you have, you kind of get the idea maybe you should look at that before you put the motor together. So it's a very important thing that you need to pay attention to, if you want to. Now if you don't want to pay attention, you'll have it. No, yeah. Boy, those, I remember the old Sportster pumps. They had a bunch of keys in them, little worm gears. Oh yeah. And I, I've worked on them things a few times. We're helping somebody, you know. Yeah. Put it together. Well, this yeah, one here, I want to put a little oil in here first. It's kind of like an old Harley one. Half moon keys, a couple gears. Pretty simple. That one. This okay. one here. Yeah. Now, you want to make sure that dowel lines up over there. You can see the top mm -hmm. of the roll pin. Yes. Yeah. Make sure your pin is in there. Wipe your fingers off. Yeah. Then you take this thing here. And that hole there goes right where that is. Stick it on there. Rotate around until it engages. And then make sure it goes all the way down without fighting. Yeah. And then make sure it rotates too. Like that. So mm -hmm. Then you know it's good. Mm -hmm. There's your check valve in there. Mm -hmm. so that's all very important stuff. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. So... Now we bring in our gasket goop. That was the one you wanted to use earlier. Look at this. You know, this is a brand new pump in 77, wasn't it? 
These are first year yeah. these pumps. Because mm -hmm. I had trouble with mine. Ended up frying the engine. Yeah, that would be a problem. I'd be going down the road about 60, 70. Just bought it brand new, you know. I was out here and I had it. I waited on the black chrome back there, whatever. Got it. Moved out here, blah, blah, blah. Going down the freeway. And all that light. Blah, 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 blah. Damn it. And I'd pull over the side of the road. As soon as I'd shut her down, you know, pull over. Mm -hmm. And I'd undo the uh, sending unit. And turn it over until I got it to pump. And then do it again. Oh, you had to prime it? Yeah. Kind of got used to it. <laughs> the motor was happy. Yeah, yeah, well, next thing I know, I had a Suzuki. Oh, great. Okay, these gaskets only go one way. Mm -hmm. That's not the right way. Yeah, I had to get the piston. That one looks better. Yeah, it doesn't work the other way around here either. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we got that in there. Oh, let me put that stud in the way over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now the oil cylinder goes forward. Mm -hmm. That's a quick way of telling which way it goes where. Mm -hmm. This does not have to be timed like the earlier bike. Just stick the thing up in the hole. See how that thing's in the way like I told you mm -hmm. it was going to be? Yeah. It is. I think that thing goes down and that line goes back. It goes I remember I used to have a wrench right here. Yeah, I think that's where it goes. Get the damn thing out of my way. Yeah. Okay, now this will go up in the hole where it's supposed to go. That thing doesn't want to go in there at all. Huh. Hmm. These are pretty What's loose. hitting on? This doesn't want to go in the hole. Okay, shrunk down a little bit. I don't know what the problem is. It's just tight. All right, what do we got? How come we got five bolts when we take four? Mm. One job. Yeah. Less a shorty. That's a cam cover bolt. That's why I was so short looking. You get you put lot washers in there? Mm -hmm. It's got washers yeah, under yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're locks though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are locks. Yeah. Usually you don't use any washers on them things. Mm. Definitely not lock washers. Center a little bit. Pump still turns. Mm -hmm. Let me torque it down. Yeah, they said that brand new pump right. has something to do with cavitate. Yeah, well, they cavitate too. But anyway, I never had any problems after that. pretty tight right here on our clearance here. Yeah, I can barely get the hose on. That'll work. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Why was that loose? I don't know. I didn't notice it just now. <clears throat> well, that thing can screw out and you can flip it around. Yeah, well, the problem is it's in there too deep. Probably some, some I just put more tape on it. That's going to have to be worked on. We're pretty tight here too, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, that hose, that hose is a feed line. It goes up through here. I know, but I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. <clears throat> so you have some amount of movement oh, here. Oh, okay. And that's as far up as we can go. Mm-hmm. 
And then I can't remember, that's what I came up with for that line coming out of it. That's good. Still tight, but I can get a hose clamp on it. A little bit tighter. A little bit more clearance this time. Oh, yeah, it'll work. Clamp and a hose. Okay, so this has to be worked on here. Well, that, that'll unscrew the ending if you can. I just taped it. I know, it's not a stock fitting, so we'll have yeah, to work yeah. on it. Okay. Mm. Okay, then we got the, the gears now. Now you have a timing mark right here. Oh, wow. And this pump had a timing mark too, even though it doesn't matter on the oil pump. They have an oil pump mark, so I might as well just use it. Mm. And that's not working very good. These are backwards. Oh, okay. This gear does not fit this pump. Hmm. You want me to go look at that old pump? I mean, the old gear. These are going backwards. Yeah. It ain't meshing, I know that. Yeah. I think it's jammed on there too for some reason. Why that just jammed on there? And you see how he's got it in a bind there. Oh, it's stuck on the splines. Okay. Oh, okay. What the hell? There's some goo on there or something. I don't know what. Yeah. Huh. But it's the wrong gear. Yeah. They make these in two different rotations. This is the wrong rotation. Mm-hmm. So this, this was the gear that had the uh, correct number on it, but obviously it's a mismatched part. <clears throat> so, because these here are... Yeah, they're opposite. The other one goes the other way. <laughs> that so, dog don't go over So this there. doesn't work. So. You can't turn it around or nothing, huh? No, it's made wrong. No, I, it's It'll be the same. I checked it, but it's the same. It doesn't make any difference. If you actually look down the yeah. teeth, you oh, see how it's going the wrong angle. Oh, it's trying to dig in this way instead of this way. That dog don't hunt. No. So we got to go find the uh, old gear and check it out, make sure it's good. So we'll be back. Okay.